One of the things I really like about the BBBRC is the workspace because it provides you with the opportunities not only to have a workspace where you can upload data to run for your analyses, but the ability to share this data with collaborators and even to make it public. So I'm going to show you how to do some of those things today. Let's click on the workspace tab right here. That's at the top of any BBBRC page. And you can see that there are several levels here. There's workspaces. These are all the workspaces, some of which are shared with me. But this is my home directory. And within my home directory, there are three folders that come with every BBBRC workspace that we use. And if you had a Patrick account, that data should still be in your home directory. And then we also have public workspaces that are shared with everyone. And they're my jobs and my genomes. So it doesn't matter when you did those things, they should all be in your current workspace. So let's start with your home directory. And this is my home directory. And yes, I know it's messy, but I've had it for a very long time. And people always make fun of me about it, but I'm quite proud because it shows how productive I am. Within here, I can see my data. I've created folders. I could click on folders. I could create a subfolder. I could upload data. And that would give me access to my computer. And I could say, I don't know, I want to upload this logo, which I don't. But if I did, I could upload it there. So let's take a step up into the shared workspaces. So these are workspaces that are shared with me. When you do this, it's not going to look the same because I wouldn't say you're not as popular as me, but you can see there's a lot of shared workspaces, mainly because of this course I teach. And one of the instructions I give to people is showing them how to create a shared workspace. And they share it with me because they know who I am. But let's look at this. For example, this workspace, I can do the share icon here. You notice when I click on the name, I have the ability to share this. So I can click share and I could add somebody if I wanted to. And I could add that user, just give them view privileges. So save that. But then later, let's say I decided I don't like them very much. Go in, delete them and save that. Now that's just to giving sharing privileges, but if you want to see what's in there, you need to click on this icon at the beginning that is an indication that this is a shared workspace. It's supposed to show a lot of collaborators sharing and caring about their data together. So if you click on that, you can see the folders that are in there. And if you have access to this, you could upload data from your computer if you wanted to. Now, if I want to create a new workspace, I'll create that and I've got to name it something distinctive so I can find it in a few minutes. But you know what? I don't want to pollute the public space. I'm going to delete this after this exercise so I can create that workspace. Oh, and look, and here it is. And look how the icon for it is different than the other two. Right now, this is a workspace that is accessible to only me, but I can share it. If I click on the row and I click on the share, I could say, I want to share it with this user. And I will allow this person to edit it. And I'll say, add user and save. So at this point, I could go in there. I could create that folder and then I could upload data to it, but I could also share things with this user. Now, here's one of the things that is often problematic because let's say you ran an annotation job recently, it's in your workspace and you want to share it to this data space with this person. Okay, so I'm going to go to my dirty workspace, cluttered, cluttered is the right word. Close your eyes. Nobody wants to see this train wreck of all the stuff I have in my workspace, but I'm looking specific ah, for this folder. 
And then I want this one. This is a job I just ran today. And I want to share that. I want to copy this into that workspace. So when the line, if I double click on it, it's going to open the job. But I want to copy it. I never want to move it. Some people are big movers. I'm not. I'm a copier. So I'll copy it and I'll copy it to this workspace. Okay. So it's copying everything into that workspace. So let's go back there. Let's go to that workspace and look. Oh, well, look, and that's there. And if I clicked on it, I would see everything there. So at this point, I would think, oh, man, I've shared this with that other user. But when they're logged in, they actually can see this data, but they can't use the genome. I know it's a pain, but you have to share that particular genome with them. So. Let's go back. This time I'll go into my genomes. I'll go into Enterococcus, which was the one I just did. Uh, Facium, this guy. Oh, it's a poor genome. Uh, so I don't care about sharing. But here, at this point, I can share it with ARWD. Oh, look, I already did it. She can edit it. I could also share it with a different user. I can share it with that guy add user, and then save. And that's an easy way that you can do that. But one thing I haven't talked about is if we go into public workspaces, let's say I'm very proud of my workspace and it's not there. Oh, I didn't make it public. How do I do that? Go back to workspaces. Go back to this row, highlight it. Pretend you're going to share it, but up here, put it as publicly readable. Save that. This may take a while to see, but let's see if it's up there by now. Public workspaces. Here it is. Ta-da. So it's me. And not only does that other user get to see it, but everybody gets to see it. And if I click on it, you can see the data that's there. But then once again, because I said I'm not going to pollute the public space, I'm going to delete that. Honk. And there you go. That's a quick and dirty guide to seeing your workspace, navigating through your workspace, uploading data to your workspace, and sharing data. Let me know if you have any questions and give it a try. Thanks. Bye.